connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. All right, guys, so we live in some very strange times right now. And that is all thanks to your boy, Elon Musk. So unless you guys live under Patrick's rock or own a pet rock, you've probably heard of Neuralink, which is this company founded by Elon Musk. And they basically develop implantable brain computer interfaces. So they have a team of seven scientists and engineers it was launched in 2016. So they actually made a breakthrough with these implantable computer chips that go in your brain basically and I'll show you guys a quick video demonstration of what's happening the joy of connecting with your loved ones browsing the web or even playing games using only your thoughts this is made possible by placing a small cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements the device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. Hmm. No wires or physical movement are required. By participating in the PRIME study, you'd be helping to redefine the boundaries of human capability. If you've been living with quadriplegia from a spinal cord injury or with ALS, you may qualify for the PRIME study. Okay, so Neuralink claims that they can basically help people out with ALS, which is a disease that degenerates the nerve cells in the spinal cord and brain. So, I mean, that is a net positive. I think if anybody's suffering this, they probably would do anything to fix their situation. I, I know I would, like, put that damn chip in my brain. But what I do find a little unnecessary and kind of creepy is the whole fact that you can control your phone with your brain. I, I can just see so many things going wrong in that scenario. Like, with my my ADD, I can see my intrusive thoughts coming out when I'm texting my boss or something. You know, he's like, do you want to come in? And I say, you repulse me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm a little bit scared of this idea. But anyway, let's listen to what Elon has to say about the progress. Progress is good. Uh, patient seems to have made a full recovery uh, with neural effects that we're aware of. Um, that we're aware of. And um, is able to control the mouse move the mouse around the screen just by thinking. Um, so we're, we're trying to get as many um, button presses as possible from thinking. So that's what we're currently working on is, um, you know, can you get left mouse, right mouse, like mouse down, mouse up, mouse, you know, left mouse, you know, sort of left, left button down, left button up, uh, which I'm is like kind of neat if like, you want to like click and drag something. You need the sort of mouse down and to hold on mouse down. And then there's so uh, you know, we want to have like, one of just two buttons. Um, so, so we're, we're trying, trying to make progress on that front, but overall, it's looking very good. So all jokes aside, I think it's pretty cool what Elon's doing. If it's going to help people out with diseases, like I said before, I think that's a cool idea. I'm still unsure about the whole chip thing with using your phone and that kind of stuff. Like the early fad of the VR is cool, but it makes me sick after a few hours of using it. So I'm just wondering if the chip's going to do anything like that, where it's going to mess with your equilibrium. There's just so many things that could go wrong. You know, like what if the thing blows up in your head? I'm going to be the last one to try this thing out. But anyway, it's really cool progress i must say try not to be a hater here being an appreciator i appreciate you elon anyway the longest concert lasted 453 hours and you guys know the drill ta-ta for now 